Hey, everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. So, look, we've all heard that installing Linux is way faster than installing Windows 10, right? But I thought it would be fun to really put it to the test. So, I loaded up Windows 10, Linux Mint 19.3, and Manjaro 19 GNOME Edition inside of equally specced virtual machines to see just how fast each one is. What you're gonna see here is real time, no trickery, no speeding up of various clips, and each virtual machine has been allotted eight gigabytes of RAM and four cores, eight threads of my Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. We're gonna start the race, beginning at the installation screen, and see what happens. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on your top right, we have Windows 10 Home, the November update. On your bottom right, we have Linux Mint 19.3 Cinnamon. And on your bottom left, we have Manjaro 19 Gnome Edition. Over on the Windows side now, it looks like we are agreeing to Microsoft's extremely long license terms. And Manjaro and Mint are both already filling out their account information and setting a password. All right, Windows 10 here, in expanding all the files and getting everything ready for installation. Meanwhile, partitioning is done with Linux Mint Cinnamon and Manjaro 19. All right, now that our contestants are doing the hard work, let's give you some vitals about each of them. Windows 10 version 1909 clocks in at 5.4 gigabytes. Manjaro GNOME 19 clocks in at 2.7 gigabytes. And Linux Mint coming in at a slim 2.0 gigabytes for 19.3 Cinnamon Edition. Now, despite Windows being the reigning champion on the desktop, these two Linux underdogs, Manjaro and Linux Mint, both have an interesting advantage. Both of them give users a fully functional desktop without even having to install it to their PC. And speaking of nothing that I was just talking about, check out this coffee mug. Linux for everyone on one side, coffee for everyone on the other side. It is the perfect way to enjoy your caffeine and support the show. DestinationLinux.network slash store. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Manjaro 19 is almost finished, but it looks... Oh, wait a minute, Windows! Oh no, it's just rebooting. Folks, you'll have to get used to that with Windows 10. It's a, uh, it's a process that you'll definitely be very, very familiar with within weeks. Okay, Manjaro, meanwhile, Manjaro 19 on the thank you screen. It looks like it's almost finished. Meanwhile, Windows 10 is getting ready. Another phrase that you will definitely, definitely have to get comfortable with in the coming days, weeks, and months. Holy cow, Manjaro is finished. Ladies and gentlemen, Manjaro 19 is finished installing. And it looks like the user, yes, they're in the software center. What, what's happening? It looks like they're installing a Shotwell Telegram desktop VLC, multiple applications all in one window without even opening a browser. Holy cow, this is exciting stuff. Now let's do a quick recap of our contestant's performance. Manjaro 19 GNOME Edition finishing the installation in less than two minutes and 30 seconds. And you may have spotted that that even included the optional LibreOffice suite of applications. Now Manjaro, of course, an Arch-based Linux distribution, lean, mean, and green, but that doesn't mean it's short on software. There is plenty to get you going out of the box, including Steam. Getting back into the action now, on the Windows side, your top right, it looks like yet another reboot. Meanwhile, on your bottom right, Linux Mint is just about finished. Windows 10 asking for just another moment of your time. Linux Mint might come in. Oh, it does it! Linux Mint finished with the installation in under four minutes. Just an incredible performance there by Linux Mint 19.3. And it looks like, what's happening here? Okay. Linux Mint heading over to flathub.org on the hunt for more software, starting with Spotify. And up on the top right, it looks like Cortana has made her debut with an unskippable 
whatever you want to call that. A wise strategy there by our Windows 10 user, muting the microphone. Oh, and here we go. It looks like, yes, it is finally time for some user interaction on the Windows 10 side. Oh, and it's a false alarm. Windows 10, they're asking for no more than two keystrokes from the user and then having them wait even more. Such a shame. And here again is where our Linux underdogs really shine by getting all of that user interaction out of the way up front and then letting the user just sit back and do whatever they want while it installs. All right, checking back in on Manjaro, that is your bottom left. Looks like they're updating Steam and are almost done with all the packages that they installed. And uh, okay, top right, it is time for you to enter your Microsoft account information. And if you're online, if your PC is connected to the internet, you're gonna have one heck of a hard time signing in with an offline account. I would say it's downright impossible. Be that as it may, Windows 10 very, very close to the finish line now. Looking at our bottom right, Linux Mint well on their way to productivity. Same with Manjaro on our bottom left. And now it's time for Windows to ask us a lot of questions. Device syncing, privacy, OneDrive, Office subscriptions, etc. Our users going to move through this as fast as possible. Now there's a strategy coming up. I think I've seen this before and I think it's going to happen again. Our user knows exactly when is the right moment to just step away and just wash their hands until Windows decides it's done rebooting and done with all of its setup. Yes, indeed, I have confirmation from Lana. She is watching the frustration mount and it looks like our user is going to make his move right now. Let's take a look. Wow, he really accomplished quite a bit during that interlude. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing news coming in right now. Windows 10 finally nearing the end of its installation process. And all in all, not bad, clocking in at over seven minutes, but well under what I was expecting. However, compared to its competitors, Manjaro 19 and Linux Mint 19.3, it just pales in comparison. Linux Mint finishing in just under four minutes and Manjaro taking the crown at, at under three minutes of total installation time. All in all, an absolutely thrilling race. I learned a lot, I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you'd had as much coffee as I did. Over at Destination Linux, dot, one of the key, key what? It's the Linux for everyone. <laughs>